please just um, tell us a bit about what you're going through. It's hard, you know. Life is just difficult. Often when it happens, I have to just stay at home. You know, after my mates, you know, can't do what people my age do anymore. And that's what really bothers me, actually. You know, I, I can't cook. I can't cook, you know, I, I love cooking. I love cooking. You just feel like you're just isolated, you know, and it could be very lonely, you know, especially when I'm sleeping at night. I just struggle to sleep. I've lost, um, I've lost a lot of tissue. Uh, I've lost the function of my nose. My missus has been supportive, but you know, intimacy is sometimes a little bit difficult. I can't really feel anything too tough. Yeah, sorry, sorry, just, you know, just, just wish I could be out there, you know, doing the things that I used to do, the things I used to love, but, you know, I, I, I just can't do it anymore. This thing that I'm affected by, as many as one in three people can be affected. And more men. So I urge my fellow man to be careful, to make sure that they prevent themselves from, from being in my situation. Because prevention is always better than cure. This thing is it's the worst thing I've, I've ever had to... Thank you. Has anyone got any Sudafed? Cheers, thanks. Oh, God. Sometimes these things are just. Man food could be such a pain in the arse, do you know what I mean? Every bloody, like. Every couple of weeks I get it. Do you know what I mean? And then, like, my missus, like, she just gives me so much grief. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Like, they won't ever understand what man flu means. <laughs> <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.